Kathleen, we do have a couple things with your name on it. Excellent. Um, can Graham and Kathleen please tell us about their first date for ten dollars? Oh. Oh. Uh, what a good question. Mm hmm. Our first actual date, after right. after communicating, after meeting at a newspaper conference and then communicating all summer over uh, AIM, or AOL Instant Messenger. Oh wow. Yeah. No. Uh, our first actual date was we saw the Beastie Boys. Mm -hmm. What a rad first date. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. It was, it was dope as heck. It was at the uh, Pacific Coliseum. Mm -hmm. And we stayed at my friend Trevor's house in New West. Yeah. It was an amazing show. It's quite a high bar. Yeah. The they first. At the beginning yeah. of the show, uh, Talib Kweli was the opener. Oh. oh. Wait a minute. This, this show got better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you can't, that's burying the lead. Yeah. You were you were, up to that point were about the most interesting elements of this story. But now, <laughs> now we have to and work up with it. After after the opener, they cut to this video feed, this live video feed of like going around through the like outer the of the concourse of the arena, and then it went to one of the concession stands, and this this guy like filling up popcorn and stuff looked over at the camera and was like Oh, what? Okay. And like put his stuff down and took his apron off and picked up a vinyl because it was Mixmaster Mike oh, who had just wow. been working the concession <laughs> and then like walked down and the camera followed wow. him and then he went on stage and then they did their thing. And they had it, their encore was in three parts. They did, um, uh, they brought this, they trucked this like big uh, um, riser out onto stage and performed an instrumental. I can't remember what the song was now. Oh gosh. You remember more about this show than I do. <clears throat> but they did all of them on like on on guitars, or whatever. Did an instrumental track. I could look up the set list at some point. A and like that was encore number one. Like they finish their set, lights down, come back up, they play an instrumental, lights go down, spotlights come back up, sweep to the back, and they're on a very far high up balcony, and they do intergalactic. And then all the lights go down, and then they come back up, and them with with the rest of the band, who were there for the instrumental part, do sabotage, and that was the that was the end of the show. It was a dope show. And you knew you were meant for each other. I think I think we had and a pretty good beat on that prior. <laughs> yeah, like we had we had figured out there uh, a significantly less cute portion of our meet cute story involves that I was definitely seriously involved with somebody else that I had to then break up with. <laughs> was it a member of the Beastie Boys? No. God, no, no. That would have been It was just a dude. <laughs> the amount of my friends that have been in long-term relationships where that part is the start of it, there are a surprising amount of people I know that I'll say, like that. I'll say, I'll say nothing untoward occurred no. until... <laughs> Most break that yes. Yeah. To be to be clear. Oh yeah. Yeah. The untoward started after that. So. Yeah, the yes. untoward started immediately afterwards. <laughs> That's I, I mean just directly toward at that point. <laughs> 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 oh, I give up. Whatever. That's awesome. uh, There's no terms of service anymore. So yeah, that was a that was a that was a super super cool show. So I said challenge for both of us and I basically did most of the talking. I'm sorry. Involved. <laughs> um, 